Mm. Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you're doing so so well today. Today, you guys, we are going to be making spaghetti a la carbonara. Yes, ma'am, yum. Okay, have you guys ever heard of, heard of this dish? It looks so good. So, one of my favorite YouTubers, avant-garde vegan Gaz he's the host what's up I'm gonna link his channel right up here in his latest video he made spaghetti a la carbonara he he made his own pasta from scratch I got time but uh the, the, mm. <laughs> this dish looked so so good you know I've, I've heard of this dish before and um you know it's very not vegan but we are going to recreate it vegan style inspired by Gaz from avant-garde vegan if you do not follow him go follow him right here um so thank you for the inspiration and i've been wanting some noodles in my life so i put a poll on youtube on the community tab and i asked you guys would you guys rather see spaghetti spaghetti a la carbonara or thai peanut soba noodles and like out of almost 2,000 votes it was like 77 percent wanted to see spaghetti a la carbonara so that's what we're gonna make today so traditionally spaghetti a la carbonara has very few ingredients and the meat that they traditionally used in this dish is something called and I'm probably not pronouncing this right so my bad but it's called guanceli and it's like a highly salted cured ham and it's really really high in fat so um, obviously we're not going to be using that and more recently people use um, bacon or pancetta so today we are going to be using vegan bacon yes so this is another product that was given to me from Isaac at um, Plow Distribution and Plow Burger again I'm going to link his Instagram down below plant based hacker go follow him and um, he gave me this vegan bacon you guys here's what the packaging looks like okay but like for real doesn't it look like real bacon I've had this before I actually had it in my Plow Burger video it was on one of the burgers it's really good but this is what it actually looks like right here and it's all vegan and yeah cool and this one also says be vegan make peace yeah okay so let's open this up I think I'm gonna use about half the package and then we're just gonna cut it into slices so let's open this up okay all right so look at this. Hey, Dad. Okay, so oh, I got it. Let me turn on my burner. And I'm also boiling some water right now, and I'm about to throw in some pasta. I'm gonna be using fettuccine today because I really like fettuccine noodles over spaghetti noodles because they're bigger and more yum. Okay, all right. So that's heating up now. Again, while this is heating up, let me just explain some stuff. Okay, listen to me. Now, spaghetti alla carbonara, like I said before, has very few ingredients. It's basically like traditionally the guanciale. I, God, I hope I, I don't even, I, is that how it's pronounced? Anyways, it doesn't matter. And then um, eggs and two different kinds of cheeses, parmesan and pecorino, I think it's what it's called. Um, and obviously we're not going to be using that. So I'm going to show you what substitute ingredients we're going to be using. Um, and then that's it. Like no onions, no garlic, none of that stuff is in traditional spaghetti a la carbonara. But I'm just giving, it's a disclaimer you guys, I'm going to be using those ingredients because I love them. So don't crucify me that this isn't like super traditional. So this is just, you know, modified a bit. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's just cut this into slices. Maybe about half an inch, three fourths inch. I don't know. Okay, and then in my pan, I have a liberal amount of oil. This pan, it's not ready yet. It should be sizzling, but it's getting there. Anyways, I have a liberal amount of oil in my pan. I'm using avocado oil. I would like to have used olive oil, but I don't have any. All I got is avocado oil. And then we're going to fry these up and get them real crispy. Yeah. See, the cool thing about it being vegan is you can eat it raw. 
it was weird it tastes like bacon <laughs> um, am i being trolled okay let's see what's in here textured soybean protein um wheat protein white pepper sea salt brown sugar non-gmo sunflower oil vegan seasoning konjac powder vegetable gum well, I'll be rootin' to boon scoon. I don't really ever like vegan bacon. I, ugh, ugh. But this is like some of the best I've ever had. Yeah, I like this stuff. Oh, cool, and I'm loving the way it cooks. It's like really kind of like, like a rubbery consistency almost, like bacon. Am I making sense? This is taking a little bit longer than I expected to cook. I thought it was just gonna take like just a little bit of time? That's okay. I'm gonna try a little bit. I want it to get like really brown. Okay. Mmm. Dude, this is so weird. Man, this shit sure trips me up, dude. It's crazy. Okay, so now that this is all crisp up, I'm gonna throw in some diced red onion. And I like a lot of onions, so I'm gonna put a lot in there. And then some minced garlic, and we're gonna saute that up. Okay, so while this is finishing up, I'm going to go check on my noodles. Now, the noodles call for a five-minute cook time. I'm going to be cooking my noodles for three minutes, and the reason why is because we're going to be transferring the um, noodles into this pan, and they're going to continue cooking. So you don't want to cook them all the way um, till they're done, and then put them into another pan to cook some more, because then they're going to get overcooked, right? So... Um, I'm gonna go cook up some noodles real quick and then I'll be right back and we'll finish all this good stuff up Okay, okay, and one thing I forgot you guys is Gaz from avant-garde vegan when I was watching his show He said that he put some parsley in there to sizzle with the um, Bacon and the onions and garlic. He said it brought out some really nice flavors. So Let's do that Okay so we're gonna let that saute up for a little bit. My pasta is cooking, so I probably have to get up in the middle of some stuff and go get it. And then, let's just move forward. Okay, for the creaminess, because the dish calls for the eggs and the cheese, we are gonna be using cashew cream. And I love, love cashew cream, you guys. So, in this cashew cream, I it's, it's just soaked cashews, some lemon juice, and almond milk and blend it up really nicely. And then I also put this vegan go veggie Parmesan cheese in there because I really wanted to give it that, um, you know, cheesy, like almost stinky, <laughs> um, you know, flavor and aroma to it. Um, and this vegan Parmesan cheese smells like regular Parmesan cheese. It's nuts. Also the go, uh, follow your heart Parmesan cheese is really freaking good. Let's go ahead and add in our cream. And we are gonna add in some white miso, because this is gonna give it what um, was explained as umami flavor. So I'm just gonna put like a tablespoon, I think, or so. Maybe like a tablespoon of the um, miso. This is, again, just white miso. And then we are gonna add some nutritional yeast. Three to four tablespoons. And we're gonna stir all that in. Okay, there it goes in my pasta. Let's go get it. Okay. Stir all that in. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. Got my pasta. I'm gonna add some black pepper into here. And then let's add in the pasta. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mmm, look at that. Let's just throw that in there. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Let me turn on the heat. I don't want to burn the sauce. Oh wow, the smell is amazing. I'm going to put in some of the starchy pasta water just to kind of um, loosen up the sauce a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. This looks so good. And I didn't put any salt in there, which I might have to, but um, you know, like the traditional just dish doesn't call for salt because um, like the cured meats and stuff are high in salt and like bacon and pancetta obviously is really high in salt. But we'll see, we'll do a little taste test and see if it needs it. <laughs> Look, okay, this looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, I'm gonna plate this up, I'll be right back. 
Oh man. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Doesn't this look amazing? <gasps> I'm so excited. You guys, and then this dish, I love this dish. This is a dish that my mom gave me. She's had it like for years and years and years. And I remember um, her cooking stuff out of this as a kid. And she's had it ever since and she gave it to me. Thanks, mom. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yum. Okay. This shit is so freaking good. It does need some salt. I'm gonna have to go get some salt here in a second, but wow. Yum. Mmm. I got a piece of the bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Because you guys, I never know if I have like food on my face anymore. I brought a little mirror <laughs> so I can do some spot checks. <laughs> so I'm not sitting around with food all over my face while I'm eating. <gasps> mm. Yum. You guys, oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this. This is so yummy. Mm. It's so creamy and yummy. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go get some salt. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. <laughs> I got a boo boo. I was riding my friend's bike <laughs> last night and um, I fell off the bike and I scraped my elbow and I like opened up the skin and you guys, it hurt so freaking bad. Like, what the hell? I mean, I know like that's like I'm such a baby like crying about like it's skinned elbow but you guys it hurts so freaking bad I don't know why it felt like fire and then <laughs> apparently how I fell I know how to ride a bike but so what happened and I was taking a turn to turn around and like I, I guess I turned over too much and the pedals are longer than the size of the wheels I don't know my friend was trying to explain it to me I'm just like I don't I don't know what you're talking about but anyways I guess the 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 pedal scraped on the ground which caused me to fall and I fucking ate shit <laughs> life is good Mm. So anyways, you guys, my friend loves his freaking bike, okay? And I was devastated when I fell because, you know how like when you're like fucking with somebody's shit, like you're driving somebody's car or you're using somebody's stuff and you know how much that item or whatever you're using means to them, so you want to be like extra careful with it so as not to damage it? Well, oh my god, it's so hot in here. I'm sweating. I'm sorry. I felt so bad that I fell. And when I, because I thought I damaged his bike. So when I fell, the bike fell on top of me. You guys have no idea how good this shit is. Oh my god. And I just laid there with the bike on top of me. <laughs> I just let the bike fall on top of me. I was like, I'll take the hit. <laughs> Fuck me up, not the bike. <laughs> um, so I just laid there. <laughs> I was like, he came up to me and he was like, are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, is the bike okay? Don't worry about me. <laughs> just leave me behind. <laughs> but I didn't fuck it up. I didn't do anything, but you know, I still felt bad. Okay. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. The bacon is chewy. Mmm. And it's so creamy. It's so easy to make. 
Mm. You guys know where I got that mirror idea from? Mommy Tang. The more I eat, the happier I am. Mm. <laughs> wow. I was gonna use spaghetti for this. Turns out all I have is gluten free spaghetti. I'm not fucking around with gluten free. It's just not the same. Mm. what you guys I bet you could make this dish with vegan egg and like vegan cheese like vegan parmesan and some like other strong vegan cheese I'm sure there's some out there and um, this vegan bacon to make it more traditional but this shit is so good Oh, and you guys, thank you for all of your questions for my q and I can't wait to do my Q&A. You guys left some great questions, by the way. Like, really good questions. So I'm so excited to answer them. And I want to make sure I get to everybody's question. So I might do a two-part series. You know? This was so freaking easy to make. Mm. How boring am I today? I have like nothing to talk about. That's so weird. <laughs> When am I ever quiet? That's how you know the food is just so, so good. So, so good. Mm. Is this like turning into some ASMR shit? <laughs> I'm literally not even talking. Okay, honestly, I really like the bits of bacon in there. I'm like picking them out. They are my favorite. Wow. And I think plow distribution, like I think you could buy these products online. I'll have to check. Oh, let me do some shout outs. Duh, hello. I have some shout outs. Oh, okay, I pulled my hair back. It's so freaking hot in here, but I can't have my AC on because I feel bad because it's too loud. Okay, so this shout out is a very, very, very special shout out. This shout out goes out to my friend um, who I know personally, and most importantly, this very special shout out goes out to you, Colton. Hi, how are you? I remember when you were just a little baby and you were so blonde I think you're still very blonde <laughs> you were so cute oh my goodness and I used to change your diapers <laughs> so that shout outs for you I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to last because I am like droplets of sweat are coming off of me and I am such a little bitch about being in the heat I'm sweating. <gasps> I'm turning on my air. I'm sorry, you guys. <sighs> it's so fucking brutal in Texas. I swear. Like you can't. You, you just. It, it's like it, it. It. You could. It's like a form of torture. Not having your AC on because it's just so freaking hot. Okay, so that's better. Okay, let's do one. More. Let's do some more. Okay. This shout out goes out to Bro and Sis Perfect. What up? How you doing? Bro and sis. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. So this shout out is um, from, oh, she has blue hair. Oh, girl, you got blue hair. That's so cool. Okay. Um, she says, 
Oh, her name is Franken Ghoul. <laughs> Cute. Okay. She says, oh my God, I'm so hungry, I swear. Just got off work and I'm broke and have literally no food in the house. But fuck, always making me hungry, girl, and always slaying all day. Hey, girl, you slaying too? Is that blue hair? I can't really tell. So, this is my shout out to you. Um, so, you're broke as fuck? Same, me too. <laughs> so, I feel you, girl, but... I always gotta make sure I scrounge up some money for food. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. I got a request to do a fettuccine dish. Here you go. And it said, and please finish it. I'm like, oh my god, you guys. I can't, I don't think I've ever finished my food in a mukbang. I just can't. I have to stop eating when I'm full. Because I don't like that feeling of like being so full like you can't move. And that's hard to do with vegan food. Can you imagine? Okay. I'm going to eat this last bit of bacon. Alright you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!